Hi first graders, we are back with another lesson for this week and our focus today will be how to retell a story. How to tell a story in order from beginning, middle, and end. So I can retell a story in sequential order using key details. And all sequential means is I can tell something in order. First, next, last, those would be some key words. How do I retell? Well, I need to remember those story elements that I learned about last week. Those are gonna be really important in helping me retell a story. I need to know the characters, the people, the things, the animals. I need to know the setting, where and when it happened. I need to know the events. I need to know things that happened at the beginning, the middle, and the end. I need to know about the problem. What goes wrong for the character? And the solution, how do they fix their problem? All right, it's time to take a look at one of our favorites, Pig the Pug. We're gonna think about the characters, the setting, the problem, and the solution, and we're gonna use all of those story elements to help us retell the story. Pig the Pug. This book belongs to Pig. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, he was greedy and selfish in most every way. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor. But when was he nice to him? I'll tell you, never. You've got some great toys there, poor Trevor would say. But Pig would just grumble, they're mine, go away. But it might be more fun, Trevor said to Pig. If we both played together? Well, Pig flipped his wig. No, they are mine. Didn't you hear? Only mine? You keep your paws off them. They are mine, mine, mine. I know what your game is. You want me to share, but I'll never do that. I won't, and I swear. And with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a big pile with a huff and a puff. And once he had gathered them up in a pile, he howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig, now you won't get my loot. It's mine, 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 so why don't you scoot? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see the pile was wobbling. Oh, dear me, watch out up there, good Trevor did cry. But the shame of it was, well, pugs cannot fly. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. It's so very different in most every way. Yes, Pig shares his toys now, and Trevor's his friend and they both play together. Wow, pigs on the mend. All right, so let me go back and think about my story elements. So my main characters, I've got Pig the Pug, and I've got Trevor. This is who the story is about, these two characters. Now I need to think about my setting. Where does the story happen? Well, Trevor and Pig are animals, so they live in a house. And based on the book, I can assume that this story takes place at a house or an apartment. Problem. Hmm, I'm gonna think. Pig, what does he do in this story that's a problem? Well, I know that he's greedy. He just wants everything for himself and he doesn't want to share his toys with Trevor. That's a problem. How does this get solved? Well, his greed, his greediness, the fact that he doesn't want to share anything, leads to him getting hurt. He falls out a window, and he learns that he has to share with Trevor. All right, I'm gonna put all of those things that I just reviewed into practice with a new story. So remember, when I'm retelling, I'm gonna think about all of my story elements and I'm gonna think about how to tell a story from beginning, middle, and end. 
So with Pig the Pug, if I wanted to tell what happened in the story from the beginning, we have Pig, who doesn't want to share his toys. He makes a big pile, and then he falls out a window because he isn't sharing. So I told the story from beginning, middle, and end. All right, let's take a look at how this works when we have a passage that we're asked to read. We're gonna read the passage and we're just gonna focus on the first two questions today. We'll come back and look at some more questions on our next mini lesson. Let's go skating. Millie's friends asked her to go roller skating. She had never tried to skate before. She put on a helmet, knee pads, and skates. Then she started to move her feet. All of a sudden, she rolled down the hill and crashed. Ouch! She wanted to learn to skate better and have fun. Millie's mom took her to a skating rink for a skating lesson. Millie took five lessons and she learned how to skate and be safe. Then Millie went skating with her friends again. Wow, you are much better, they said. All right, I'm gonna take a look at these first two questions over here that we're gonna focus on today. What supplies did Millie use when she skated? So one of those key details that I need to go back to the story and look for. And what happened first when she skated? All right, so let's go back to the text and think about those two questions when we read. Millie's friends asked her to go roller skating. She had never tried to skate before. She put on a helmet, knee pads, and skates. Then she started to move her feet. All of a sudden, she rolled down the hill and crashed. Ouch! She wanted to learn to skate better and have fun. Millie's mom took her to a skating rink for a skating lesson. Millie took five lessons, and she learned how to skate and be safe. Then Millie went skating with her friends again. Wow, you are much better, they said. All right, so let's take a look. This first question asks, what supplies did Millie use when she skated? Remember, all good readers go back and look for evidence in the text. That's going to show us where we can get this answer. So, what supplies did she use? I can see right here in this sentence she put on a helmet, knee pads, and skates. So, if I was answering this question, those are the three things I would write down. Helmet, knee pads, and skates. I want you to try number two before I give you the answer. What happened the first time Millie skated? So go back to the story. What happened the first time Millie skated? A, she fell down. B, she was really good. C, she did not like it. So think to yourself, go back to the text. What happened when she first skated? All right, if I had to choose an answer, I would go with A, she fell down. Because when I go back to this first paragraph here, all of a sudden she rolled down the hill and crashed. Ouch. So I know from the text that she fell down the first time she went skating. The next time we come back to our mini lesson, we're going to be using all the things we learned last week and today about story elements and retelling to help us find the central message. So we will take a look at those pieces of information and use this text on our next mini lesson. So right now, first graders, it's time to show us what you know on the next few slides about story elements and retelling. And come back on Wednesday for another lesson on Central Message.